Hey everybody, I'm back. Rick here with Game Trade Media at Gamma here in Reno, Nevada. So the Gamma Trade Show, as we've said in many of the other videos, is where all the publishers and designers and retailers and distributors come together, have a wonderful week of uh, networking. And speaking of networking and ha meeting publishers, we've got Jim here from Aries Games. Welcome, Jim. Good to be here. Thank you so much for coming in and showing us. This looks like Master of the Galaxy. I did not know that you had a game that had my title in it. Oh, well, there you, there you go. We so named good. it after you. Thank you for, for <laughs> giving us that opportunity, you know, seeding naming rights to us. That's very helpful to us. You're very welcome. <laughs> nice. Very good, very good. So tell us a little bit about Masters of the Galaxy, or Master of the Galaxy. So Master of the Galaxy is a partnership uh, with Ares, which uh, many people know is an Italian company, and Igrology, which is a Russian company. They make products which most English speakers don't uh, know very much about yet. But they're an up-and-comer, and and we hope to continue working with them for a long time. Nice. Master of the Galaxy is our first collaboration together, and what you see before you is a classic 4X uh, space game. Okay. The object of the game is to win one of the three victory conditions, so you have a, a true variable victory path, mm -hmm. and you do that with all the classic things of, of expanding, gathering more resources, conflicting with your neighbor, crushing them, stealing their stuff, and using it for your own benefit. Oh, I love the sounds of that. Crush you all. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. So it looks like you got some uh, some bags here, yep. which are beautiful, and they have different symbols. Are, are these faction bags or player? They're individual? player bags. So okay. what um, Master of the Galaxy is really a resource placement game, if that okay. makes sense. I, I'm not really familiar with any other games that really do this quite the way um, this game does. And so what happens is, is you'll take a bag and right. you'll be in one of the corners of the map in a four-player game. Okay. Okay. So in this case, you've got a, a red here and you've got one supremacy symbol. Now one okay. of the ways to win is to, is to collect five supremacy symbols of the same type and you can see different ones on the map. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So you start off with every person gets a species. Nice. Okay. Oh good, we drew rocks. That's an easy one to pronounce. Some of them are, are not so easy to pronounce, okay. but they're very thematic in terms of science fiction. Nice. Each race has things that they do good and things that they do not so good. There's a couple of pieces here. One is to being able to draw cards, build space stations, and to actually have fulfill your agenda. Okay. On your turn, what's going to happen is you start the game with a certain number of cubes. And right now we have the some of the playtest cubes, okay. placeholders. Uh, these are actually finished components, but what you're seeing right now is sort of a mixture of final, semi-final, okay. and... and Placeholder. Okay? okay, makes sense. All right. All right. So what happens is on your turn, you turn out, you you draw cards. I'm sorry, you draw resource tokens out of the bag. Okay. And you place them on the card. So in this case right here, if I wanted to start building, I I drew three yellow. I start building my space station. Nice. If I draw a tile or a, a token that I can't use, I put it back in the bag. Okay. Okay. Now over the course of time, what's going to happen is I can develop a hand of cards. So as I complete things, as I move forward, mm -hmm. I can do different things. I'm actually going to, to get different cards. So I can get expansion cards. I can get commerce cards. We can progress. Under certain conditions, I can get a leader. Nice. So as time goes on, I will get more and more cards, which will let me do more and more things. Again, I put the different tokens on the cards. Once a track is completely filled up, for example, then okay. I'm able to actually do that thing. So in right. this case, I've been building a space station. Right. Once I get all four built up, I can actually take that space station, put it on the card. I don't have to use it right away, right. and I take these back and put them in my bags. Nice. So one of the dynamic tensions of the game, and what you as a player are trying to manage is, well, I've started multiple programs, and I'm trying to figure out what bags I have left or what tokens I have left in my bag to understand, well, what can I complete and when do I need to draw things off of mm -hmm. programs that are not going to be completed efficiently right. so that I can go ahead and complete the card to do the action. If I were to draw four yellows, I would be able to complete this. I would get these benefits okay. by these symbols, and I would get to have this effect right oh. here. So. Nice. So, so as a space exchange was the card that he was referencing, uh, the artwork on all of these cards are really nice, by the way. Uh, so space exchange, if you were to complete it, it, says during phase one of your turn, if you draw no yellow resources, you may add one yellow resource from the reserve into your bag. That's really awesome. That's it. And, and when we say it's a resource management game, a resource placement game, what you have in your bag, what you have on your programs, is really what you as the player are trying to manage. So there'll mm -hmm. be a pool of, in this case, yellow cubes over here. Mm -hmm. I, I start with five yellow. Well, getting four yellow to complete that right off the top, 
going to be hard yeah, because yeah. that's everything. If I put two of them over here, well, then I know I'm not going to be able to finish the space exchange until I can get more yellow cubes in my right. bag. A couple of ways to do that, but that's the again that's sure. the, the the decisions that the players right. are making. Very yeah. cool. Now the other part of it is so those are the cards, and that's how you expand your technology. Okay. And the other part that you can do is you actually build pathways to different star systems. So in this case, I'm at a red planet. Mm -hmm. If I want to go to a yellow, I would need to fill up all this track with either yellow cubes or red cubes. Wow. Okay, so quite a ways away, right? That takes out of your resources. Out of your resources, oh, exactly. Wow. In this case, blue is really close, so we can say I happen to draw through over the course of a couple turns. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do it all at once. Sure. Come right here. Now I've, I've got a, a pathway to this right here. If I'd completed this space station and have it available, okay, now I can put that there and I can now now have that. Well, I'm going to get the resources here. It's going to give me additional pieces. Nice. Okay? So that's how I put more cubes into my bag, by building up the resources at my home planet, by building up what I have placed here on the board. Nice. Okay. Now the secondary piece of this is once I have a, a control of this, I could pick these up, right. put them back in my bag, use them again. Or I can keep them here and keep funneling resources from my home system over here and continue to develop that up. Nice. Once it's completely developed, then I'm maybe a little bit safer doing that. Sure. But again, a couple of decisions to make in regard to what you want to do. The Very other cool. piece is here now on this um, strategy symbol. Okay. Is that what we called it? Okay, I'm going to have to reference That's the rule because right. I want to call it the it is the really clever, I'm talking about supremacy symbol, not strategy, supremacy symbol. If you get five of the same type, you win. I started off with this symbol. Okay. If I, for example, if this race completes this, I could get these symbols. So let's say I, can, I put on the, the five tokens, three red and two blue. So mm -hmm. now I, I, in effect, have these symbols as well. If I can complete a pathway from here to here, I would get a, my second dove. Okay. Ha, 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 my, my plane is coming together to collect doves. Right. Well, I've got this built up. Now I have to build this. Or I could oh. build from here to here. Or I could build from here to here. Or right. I, anyway, I, if once I've got a, a pathway to get from my home planet to, or from, from this planet to this planet, mm -hmm. I get credit for that symbol. If I build a path here, I'll get my star symbol. So if you build a path to this planet and then continue building from here to here, yep. that would complete this symbol. Yes, exactly. All right. And if you did it from here, to here that completes that this symbol. And right, and so and you, then symbol. you start collect them. Exactly. Nice. Okay. okay. And as you see on some of the car some of the cards that you can get, some of the cards can give you a symbol as well. Right. So you can as you look at the cards and you say, well what am I trying to, to, mm -hmm. to do? That's how, one of the ways you can do it. Very cool. The other thing that you can do is you can actually try to take over other planets because building a, a space freeway from this mm -hmm. planet to this planet can take a long time. So instead you may want to just go ahead and actually do a conflict. And okay. a conflict then, you, under certain conditions, you get a conflict card. Okay, okay. Conflict cards have two types of battles. If, I'm from, if, I, if I play this card from here to here, then I'm going this way. I'm mm -hmm. trying to conflict that. This is what I have to do. I have to play two reds and three yellows. If okay. I play it this way, four, four reds. Red, so if, I, look, if okay. I know I've got tons of red, yeah. great, I may want to do that. Sure. If I draw another conflict card, though, Maybe it's something like this. Oh, well, wait a second. Terrorist attacks, okay? So now I just need three reds. Nice. Okay? In this case, I don't get any extra benefit. In this case, I actually can force the opponent to discard some things. Nice. So when I play the card, it, the orientation matters, and I, and I have a couple of choices. Okay. Okay? So in this case, let's say I, I place it this way. I place my three reds on it. Mm -hmm. Well, now I can say... I, if I have a space station ready, I can build it, and now I've got these two planets, mm -hmm. and now I've got some control of additional resources, now I can start doing things. Nice. This goes off, gets discarded, and now I'm, I'm continuing my galactic empire. Cool. If I can go from here to here to here, and get all the way over to this planet right here, if I can take one of my two neighbors and take their home planet, that's a, a way that I can win wow. victory condition. Difficult, okay. but doable. Sure, that's, that, that's 
three you said three three things win conditions okay you get five of the a symbol five of the supremacy symbols take it or you can expand your technology mm -hmm. and you can do a, a technology victory okay cool. all right very nice well thank you so much so when is this going to be available? Um, this is a summer release. Uh, like many European companies, they're driving for Essen. And it, mm -hmm. you can see we're very, very close on a couple of the components. Right. So we continue to move forward. We, we call it a high summer release, means okay. it's the height of summer it will release. Okay. But that's a very variable time. Sure. Uh, Gen Con, made for us being Gen the goal. Hopefully Gen Con, definitely Essen, but hopefully Gen Con, okay. and we take it from there. Very cool. And do you have a price point at where this is going to lie at? Not yet, because as you can see, we're, we only have some of the components. Right. We don't even have some of our resource things sorted okay. out yet. So we still have to kind of figure out final sure. pricing. All right. All right. So cool. Thank you, Jim. Right. Thank you very it. much. Pleasure so, all right. to be here. So everybody out there watching this, make sure you keep an eye out on Aries Games. So follow them on all their social media so that any updates on this and when it's going to be dropping and releasing, you don't miss it. All right. So Aries Games uh, on Facebook. Uh, is it AriesGames.com or Aries or EU? Aries Games EU. Okay. Right. Aries Games EU. There you have it, everybody. This is uh, Rick and Game Trade Media. We've been here all week. We have a few more interviews to do today, but until then, go to your local game store. You have about two hours before I come back on here, so you have just enough time to go to the local game store and uh, get a game in and come right back. All right, so I'll see you then, and have a good afternoon. Thanks for watching Board Games and Beyond. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.